So WWF must have been like, yeah, WCW uncensored. That was awful. Hold my beer. Do you know what? We can do it. We can make it even worse. WrestleMania 11. My goodness. The worst WrestleMania of all time, unquestionably. Just, there were a couple of okay matches. Diesel and Sean was all right, I suppose. Razor and Jeff Jarrett was okay for the Intercontinental Championship. They weren't all the interference. The tag team title match was okay. I thought Owen Hart just stole the show in that one. Jim Cornette was quite funny as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, the show sucked. I mean, they kicked it off with the Allied Powers. I forgot about that tag team. British Bulldog and Lex Luger versus the Blue Brothers. Do you remember them? Eli and Jacob Blue with Uncle Zebekiah as their manager. This was awful. Awful way to open the show. Oh, this is WrestleMania. This is how you're kicking it off. This has got to be the worst, the worst opening match on the WrestleMania of all time. Let me get Razor Ramon versus Jeff Jarrett for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, Jarrett retains via DQ thanks to the one, two, three kid getting involved and he pretty much ruined the match in my opinion getting involved, him and um, the roadie it was decent when Jarrett and Razor could just go against each other um, The Undertaker's streak continues and these years these, pre these early years for The Undertaker are hard to watch you can't lie, like this streak was really nothing really in the early days no one really cared about it, no one really knew about it no one was really bothered because he was facing nobodies, he was beating nobodies he weren't at Wrestlemania 10, he comes back for 11 he beats Bundy Bundy a, a way past it King Kong, a King Kong Bundy there should be nowhere near the ring in 1994 this was absolutely terrible Owen Hart and a mystery a mystery tag team partner turns out to be a returning Yoko Zuna. Um, this was sad. Yoko could barely Zuna, Yoko Zuna could barely move at this point, and he, he shouldn't be in, been anywhere near the ring in my opinion. Um, the guns were pretty good. It was a decent tag match. It was Owen Hart basically doing all the work, and then Yoko Zuna came in for the finish, and then. Of course, he takes Owen in and Owen gets the pin. Um, Owen was brilliant and, yeah, he deserved a championship and he, he gets the championship now. He's a tag team champion and uh, he's going to do all the work. He does all the work in this team. It's all Owen Hart and, yeah, um, he, he was fantastic, Owen Hart. So, yeah, he deserved as many championships as they were going to give him, really, in my opinion. Uh, Bret Hart versus Bob Backlund. Really bad match. Roddy Piper is a guest referee. I quit match. He just got in the way and yeah, it just wasn't a good match. Probably one of Brett's worst matches in my opinion. Um, Diesel versus Sean, like I said, was really good. Um, I enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, improved these two and Sean was ready for the main event and Diesel was as well. They could go in the main event against each other and it was really good. And then we do get the main event of Wrestlemania the worst main event of Wrestlemania of all time Lawrence Taylor against Bam Bam Bigelow and yeah Bigelow did a good job you got to give Bigelow that he, he got a passable match out of Lawrence Taylor it wasn't very good but he did his best he's got big up Bigelow and yeah you they must have promised him something after it like he was getting the Wrestlemania main event I suppose and working with Lawrence Taylor and there'd be a lot of press and yeah a lot of attention going around and it, his name would be mentioned quite a bit I suppose after that but yeah things didn't work out for Bigelow after this really did they and yeah this Wrestlemania was not very good at all hard to watch let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.